Earlier this year, I fitted an M12 lens to a kid's toy camera to make the cheapest interchangeable lens camera in the world. It was a joke, of course, but those M12 lenses are still good for experimentation. I've taken it further now and made a better M12 camera using a Raspberry Pi. Since anyone can buy a ready-made M12 camera module, I've gone for something a little different. My M12 camera has three lenses on a turret in the manner of older movie cameras. Why change lenses when you can simply switch between them at a simple click? It takes the form of a 3D printed case with a turret mechanism, a camera sensor, a Raspberry Pi Zero and a Pimeroni Display Hat Mini. The sensor is the same cheap Raspberry Pi camera I use with my digital Super 8 cartridge with the plastic miniature lens and housing removed. The turret mechanism is a fairly simple 3D printed turntable with three print in place springs that locate with notches in the turntable. Having built my camera, I installed a not very good Python script to make it run and took it out for a spin with 6mm, 12mm and 25mm lenses installed. I tried various scenes at each length and made some reasonable test pictures. It's very difficult to focus the 25mm one because the infrared filter gets in the way. I can remove it and rely on the one in the lens. The turret mechanism was a success with the 3D printed springs holding the turret in place and giving a satisfying click action. There wasn't noticeable light leakage and the focus was consistent between rotations. The cheap sensor and lenses show themselves though, I'm getting colour aberrations and not the best image quality. If I use the Sony sensor and better quality M12 lenses rather than my cheap AliExpress items, I could certainly do something about that, but for testing the turret mechanism this was fine. My Python script is very very slow though, mostly because the Pimeroni display isn't really suited to this level of constant updating. Using one of their hyperpixel boards would make much more sense. All in all though, this makes a camera that's fun to use and doesn't cost much even if the image quality isn't brilliant. I'm not done with this design though, as I want to improve it and pair it with something better to make a more practical camera. You'll be able to find all the files you need in a GitHub repository linked below. And meanwhile, have fun with your camera. Enjoy this video? Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, but also support the non-profit I'm part of, Trans Rescue. We get transgender people like me out of dangerous and dodgy places worldwide. Thank you very much.